In this video, we'll take a look at power. In hypothesis testing, based on the outcome of our statistical test, we either reject the null or we fail to reject the null, also known as by some accepting the null. So there's two possible outcomes. Once again, we either reject the null or we fail to reject the null or accept the null using other language. If we reject the null, we are citing against it since we rejected it, while if we accept the null, we are citing with it. If in truth the null hypothesis is false, so if we know truth and we know it's false, just assume that for a minute, and from our test we reject it, then we've made a correct decision. Power is related to this outcome. So rejecting the null when it's false, that's what power is about. Whereas type 1 and type 2 errors both involved making incorrect decisions, power is really about making a correct decision. Power is about finding a difference, or getting significance, from your statistical test when the null hypothesis is really false. Okay, so a definition power is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is false. Power ranges from 0 to 1, or if converted to a percentage, from 0% to 100%. So I could say I have a power of 0.5, or I could say my power is 50%, for example. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples. So power of 0 0.80, or 80%. There's an 80% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when conducting the study. Now once again, this assumes that the null is really false in truth. Now, if there's an 80% chance of rejecting the null when conducting the study, that means the remainder, or 20%, that's our chance of not rejecting the null, or accepting the null, if we want to use that language. For our second example, if we have a power of 0 0.60, or 60%, that indicates there's a 60% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when conducting the study. This, again, assumes that the null is false, in truth. And if there's a 60% chance of rejecting the null, then that implies there's a 40% chance of not rejecting the null, or failing to reject the null or accepting it. To talk about power, once again, as I've emphasized previously, we have to assume that the null is false in truth. Recall the definition of power, the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is false. If the null is actually true, then power wouldn't apply. So power is only relevant when the null is false. Okay, that's it for our introduction to power. Thanks for watching.